If you're looking around new construction in St. Louis and you want a beautiful brand new home in the middle of St. Charles County and you're curious about the Inverness, you found the right video because today in this video, I'm gonna give you the rundown on what it has to offer, what it looks like, talk about the builders that are in here and just some unique stuff that makes it a fun place to live. So let's get right to it. Hey, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Jacob Pystrup. So the Inverness, Inverness, however you wanna say it, people call it both ways. Brand new construction in the middle of Darden Prairie. So you're about 40 minutes outside of downtown St. Louis. It's three phases in total. And when it's all said and done, it's gonna be around 380 brand new homes. These are beautiful. They're making some really good progress and I can show you the footage of what it looks like. It is beautiful. These homes are gorgeous. Just the whole neighborhood, the amenities, everything in here is beautiful. And hey, by the way, if you're looking at Inverness and you're doing new construction, whatever the case might be, if you want some help with that process, new construction, negotiating, site visits, all that good stuff, send us an email or send us a text message. My team and I are licensed realtors in St. Louis, and you can absolutely use us to represent you in new construction. So. People don't always know that whether you use us, you use a different agent or you use the builder's own agents, they charge you the same for these houses regardless. So we know these builders, we have an in with all of them. We're here to help you with that process if you want. I will be real, if you work with us, you're gonna have a lot of emails and phone calls. We're gonna have a lot of communication back and forth, progress updates, negotiations, site visits, but we are here to be your boots on the ground with building, with negotiations, and with site visits for your brand new house. We're here to make sure everything goes smoothly with that process. So Inverness, brand new houses in the middle of Darden Prairie. So you're about 40, 45 minutes outside of downtown St. Louis. And here's a fun fact, it's actually named after a city in Scotland, Inverness, which is next to Loch Ness, as in the Loch Ness Monster. I didn't even know that until two hours ago when I was looking on YouTube for videos and I'm like, what are all these videos of the Highlands of Scotland? And I was texting Madison, who's my business partner, and I was like, did you know this place was named after the city next to the Loch Ness Monster? I'm like, we've had clients building in here. I didn't even know that. It's just funny, random fact about Inverness. So three phases in total, about 380 homes. Now I'll show you the map because it's kind of got an odd shape and it's a little bit messy because I kind of had to take three maps from three different places because there was no map that showed all three phases. So I'll show you right now, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Now the cool thing about the layout with Inverness is that it kind of has like this meandering street design to it where it does not look like a typical block system, like mass developed suburb, they include a lot of nature, a lot of trails. It kind of has more of like a natural flow to it. And it doesn't look as odd or as, you know, ugly as some of these very cookie cutter neighborhoods. They really try to minimize that. And that's one thing I think is really cool about Inverness. They try to make it as not cookie cutter as possible because a lot of people think new construction that it's like, oh my God, like, you know, the copy and paste, same house after another, after another. They really try to minimize that here. So in total, it's about 106 acres. You're gonna have like five different miniature lakes, walking trails, little parks. They call them pocket parks, which is like basically, you have a bunch of these very big cul-de-sacs in Inverness and in the middle of the circle, you have like a, a little park, like a little pavilion. Um, if you wanna take the dogs for a walk, take the kids for a walk, you got a bunch of walking trails going throughout the community, which is a really cool thing a lot of builders are doing these days. They're just trying to make it more like nature friendly, like walkable parks, nice landscaping. So that is one thing they're doing a great job at the Inverness. So it's kind of cool. You have like these meandering streets and then these meandering walking trails that go kind of throughout the houses, through the lakes. 
it's really cool. Now, pricing. You're looking at pretty much anything from 450,000 up to about 950,000 between the builders and between all the houses here. Really, that's one cool thing about new construction. Like, you can spend as much or as little as you want. A lot of the base prices here will be between 450 and 600,000 depending on which builder you choose. But then after that point, I mean, if you want to spend 30 grand on upgrades and everything, you can do that. You can also spend 300,000 if you want all the upgrades, everything cosmetic, you know, every detail upgrade. You can do as much or as little as you want. So if you're doing new construction, that is the huge benefit of it. Like if you want to design your house exactly how you want, you can go to any one of these builders in Inverness and do exactly that. And back to just like the meandering streets, they also have what's called variable setbacks. So again, like they're trying to make it as, you know, not cookie cutter as possible so that you have different setbacks between the houses. And one thing I will say that I actually kind of admire about this neighborhood, it's sometimes a pain in the butt when you're designing your house, but they have rules on the elevation you can have, the colors you can pick, and the floor plan you can actually pick with the lot that you go with. So basically what I mean is, if you pick a lot in Inverness, there's gonna be rules based on what you can build there depending on you know your neighbors and the house across the street from you. And what they're doing is they're trying to eliminate copying a house that is either next to you or across the street from you. So if someone on your street has the same floor plan, you can pick the same elevation, but you gotta switch up the colors, you gotta switch up the shutters, the roof, the brick or stone exterior, like you gotta shift it and pick different colors so that you don't look the same as your neighbors, which, it makes the neighborhood look beautiful, but it can be a pain when you're trying to, you know, pick out the way your house looks and you're sometimes limited depending on which lot you go with. So that's another thing with these lots. Yes, you wanna pick a lot that you like if you want a wooded backyard or you want a walkout lot or a corner lot, but you also have to remember you're gonna be restricted based on the houses around you. So you gotta think about which house you want and then which kind of lot you want and it'll kind of, you know, influence what you can build and which colors you can use because these builders have different rules about what can go where so that these houses don't all look the exact same. Some of them are very picky, some of them not so much, but that's my point. They're trying to make this not a cookie cutter neighborhood the same way that some other builders, not gonna name names, but there are some other builders that are notorious for just like the copy and paste, cookie cutter neighborhood. This is not that. I mean, it's, these aren't cheap houses, guys. Like these are between 500 and a million. Realistically, these aren't cheap houses. These are nice, high-end luxury houses. They're trying to make it as nice and aesthetically pleasing as they can. And we'll talk about this in a minute, but when I say 500 to a million, yes, the base prices for these houses start in the 400s, but when it's all said and done, you know, you might have to pay extra if you get a premium lot. Upgrades, whether it's construction upgrades or cosmetic upgrades, realistically, I mean, everything's getting expensive these days. Like you've seen the inflation numbers. Like, you know, at this point, I would say 500 is a realistic starting point for this neighborhood. 500 to a million, that's, you know, that's what this neighborhood's gonna be. So that's a bit about the community. Now, the location. So you're in Darden Prairie. So you're right smack in the middle of Darden Prairie. And like I mentioned in the video that I did on Darden Prairie, it's a smaller part of St. Charles County. It's not huge. It's not as well known as some of the big ones like O'Fallon or Wentzville or Lake St. Louis, but it's developments like this at Inverness that are kind of putting it on the map. So people are becoming more aware of it. They're starting to notice what's going on. Darden Prairie is getting more talked about and Inverness is right in the middle. So you're close to the town square of Darden Prairie. So the parks, Target, movie theater, all that good stuff. And then you're right next to um, Lake St. Louis. So the meadows, Hawk Ridge, like those are gonna be your two big shopping destinations. Lake St. Louis has a lot more commercial space than Darden Prairie. So in Inverness, you're gonna be like a five, 10 minute drive away from all the shopping that you could possibly want in the Meadows, Hawk Ridge, somewhere around O'Fallon or Lake St. Louis. I mean, like I said, 
you're right in the middle. So it's very, very convenient. I mean, really, like you name it, you're in the middle of everything you could want if you live in the Inverness. And you are right next to the Lake Forest Country Club. So this is a country club in Lake St. Louis, right next door. If you buy a house in Inverness, you get a one year free social membership, which I don't know why, I just think that's like the coolest thing ever because you get to move into a brand new neighborhood, be friends with all your neighbors, and you all get a free social membership for Lake Forest. So if you wanna go hang out with your neighbors, all your new friends, you can all just walk on over to the clubhouse because it's literally right behind you and just hang out. So Inverness doesn't have a community pool or community clubhouse, but you're right next to Lake Forest. So for at least a year, you're gonna have that social membership. You can go to the pool, go to the tennis courts, the clubhouse, like you have all those amenities cause you're right next to the country club. People don't realize that about this community. I'm like, yeah, like that is a huge bonus of living here. You get one year free social membership, especially if you're new to St. Louis, that is a great way of just meeting your neighbors and everyone else who's a member at Lake Forest. Now, moving on to the builders. So like I mentioned before, Lombardo, McKelvey, and Fisher are the three builders in Inverness. So first I'm gonna talk about Lombardo. So Lombardo is gonna have base pricing starting between 397 and 460. So actually, Lombardo is the lowest in price for the base price in this neighborhood. And Lombardo actually is not a cheap builder. Like they have some pricey homes, but in Inverness specifically, they're doing the Buckingham series, which is basically these one story homes um, on the smaller side. So these are not gonna be the huge story and a half or two story Lombardo homes you might've seen. Those are expensive. The Buckingham series is kind of these smaller one-story homes. They're all ranches with either two or three car garage. Technically, if you want a second story, they have the option of adding an additional bedroom or like a loft upstairs, but it's not really a true second level. So these are mostly single story homes. And then next up you have McKelvey. So McKelvey is gonna be kind of towards the middle slash upper end of the price spectrum with Inverness. And that's because you got a lot to pick from with McKelvey. So they have single story homes, story and a half and two story. So whatever you want, McKelvey is doing it in Inverness. Really the square footage, the pricing, the upgrades, all the features, it really varies because you've got a lot you can pick from. But with McKelvey, their bases are between 517 and 682. So McKelvey is the highest one in price. So when I say that this neighborhood goes up to a million dollars, those are gonna be the McKelvey homes that will go up to 800, 900, a million dollars if you want. If you wanna go all out with upgrades, you can do that and it'll put you closer to a million dollars. If you wanna be more conservative, again, not a problem. Like that's new construction. You can do as much or as little as you want. And then finally, Fisher. So Fisher's kind of in that mid range. They're gonna have base pricing from 489 to 589. Again, they have single story, story and a half, two stories, whatever you want. Now the thing with Fisher, we've been getting a lot of questions about them because Fisher actually is a newer builder to the St. Louis area. So last year they bought out Payne Family Homes. So basically they bought Payne, they took over where Payne left off, and now they've been introducing their style of their designs and all their homes into St. Louis. Cause Fisher does a lot of construction throughout the Midwest. So they entered St. Louis and it's, it's been cool to see that they've brought their designs and their styles with them. So one thing I definitely wanna highlight in this video, Fisher has this really cool design called the five story house. If you're thinking, oh my God, what is a five story house? It's not what you think. It's not like five stories all on top of each other. The best way I can describe it and bear with me here is that it's like the modern day version of a split level home. So it's making a reappearance. They're kind of bringing it back into style. Basically the way they have it set up is instead of one level upstairs and the basement, you have the main level and then kind of like a half level up and then the full upstairs and then you have the main level and then kind of a half level down and then the full basement below that. So basically it's like you have a half flight of stairs to go up to the master suite and then you take another half flight of stairs up and that's where you have the kids bedrooms all the way upstairs. And then back down to the main level, you can take a half flight down to 
a media room or a guest room or a home office, like however you wanna use it, you kind of have like this separate living space a flight of stairs down from the living room and then you can go all the way down into the basement if you want to finish it or leave it unfinished. I will show you the 3D rendering of um, how this looks. It's a mess. Trust me, I get it. The computer is very glitchy about it. But basically, instead of, you know, three levels where you have the main level, the upstairs and the basement, they just split it into a bunch of levels that are separated by like a half flight of stairs. So. Some people think it's really cool. I think it's very interesting. If you don't like that, if you hate the stairs and you just want a regular two-story, they can make any house that's a two-story, a regular two-story. Like you don't have to do the five stories if you don't want. It's pretty cool. Their Avery is the model they do this with. And um, actually it's their model home. So if you come take a tour with us, we can set up an appointment. You can go inside, you can take a look around and see what it's like to have five stories of living space. Basically, all it is is three levels that are like half, half levels. It's like they're separated by like a half flight of stairs. So that's the five story house. It's very cool. Fisher's doing a really cool job with that. And like I said, they're pretty new to the St. Louis area. So it's been cool for us to see the stuff they're introducing and with all of our clients who are building with them. If you want a five story house, you can do that, no problem. So again, if you are moving to St. Louis and you're looking at Inverness or another new community, if you want help with that process, picking a builder, picking a lot, negotiating price, upgrades, floor plans, all that stuff, I get it. There's a lot that goes into that. That is what we're here for. Send us an email, shoot us a text message, whatever works for you. Let's get in touch and get that conversation started. So thanks for watching. I appreciate that. Hope you take care. Have a phenomenal day and I'll catch you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel.